Hey guys, welcome to Delores Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about Flexbox Layout. This is a library project which brings a similar capabilities of the CSX Flexible Box Layout model into Android. We're actually going to have the flow in different formats. We can have it in a row or columns. We'll be using the column uh, flow to actually integrate the Flexbox Layout into the Movie Data Sync Adapter Display. Uh, we're actually going to start up and can start that uh, using uh, the Flexbox layout. So stick by and don't go anywhere. We have a lot to talk about when it comes to Flexbox layout. Let's get started. Now we're going to be replacing our movie grids into a Flexbox layout. For us to get started, we need to add the dependency. Let's straight to the move to the build gradle and include the compile com.google dot android flexbox 0.3.0 that's the version uh the point of recording once you have that set up just synchronize gradle and you set up a flexbox for use we're going to make a tweak in the layout because we're still going to need the recycler view and uh you're still going to maintain uh the items definitely the recycler view must have an item to see on the uh, recycler Right then, the item, which is the movie card, we need to modify and uh, we just point at the image view alone. We decide not to uh, include the user rating and even the title. Since the thumbnail uh, carries the title of the movie uh, vividly. So you have to have the stack, the image view, that's the only uh, attributes right there in the movie card. It's an idea of thumbnail. We give it a layout with the height of 200 dp respectively and the scale type of center crop just a layout margin one dp in around uh, the uh, grids after this you will head straight to the main activity it's quite simple and uh, in the uncreate method uh, i actually commented out the uh, recycler view uh, configuration that uh, was integrated earlier on, which is the uh, grid layout manager. Uh, since we are going to uh, bring in the Flexbox layout, we first of all declare the Flexbox layout manager over here uh, with its object, the Flexbox layout manager. That's going to be outside the onCreate method. And uh, we've actually initialized the recycler view. We add that in the activity main XML. Now we instantiate the Flexbox manager with this key which is the this uh, class and now let's look at the way we're going to set the flex direction we can set the flex wrap and uh, set justify content we're going to set the flex direction the, the flex direction actually is going to be column you can actually uh, specify row but i prefer column so that we're going to have it uh, swipeable just like uh, uh, in a carpet form so I, you are point at the flex direction to column. You can actually pick row as well. We get to set the justify content to the flex end, so it's actually going to get to the end of the content. It's not going to be cropped up. After doing that, the flex end, you set the layout manager to the flex box manager that you've specified different attributes on. So that sets up the flex box manager. You don't need to uh, uh, tweak any other aspect of the code. Just leave it as it is the loader is going to load it appropriately to the flexbox manager now you need to modify the adapter the adapter is actually binding data to uh the the grid or to the flexbox manager when it comes to the picture because we're actually uh talking about the picture here, that's the only item that you expect uh to display we declare a view group which calls the layout params and uh, we created an object called LP uh, which actually uh, gets the layout params of the thumbnail the thumbnail uh, is actually specified here which is the order thumbnail uh, that actually holds on to uh, the the value the value of the of the of the image uh, that's the, the container the, the, the order thumbnail is the container of the image because we're actually going to use glide to load 
uh, the image into the container. Now we need to talk to the container to get a flex uh, box layout displayed. We have an if statement here. If the LP, which is the object of the layer params, which is for the thumbnail uh, order, is an instance of the Flexbox Manager, uh, we need to call the Flexbox Manager Layout Params, uh, which actually casts on to the class Flexbox Manager Layout Params, which is still the LP, uh, which is the object of the view group. We created an object from there called the Flexbox LP. In this, we need to set the flex flow to one float. This is a float that's the glow can increase the the, 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 the flex growth. Depends on how the, the growth of the flex is going to uh, actually look like. So you can actually have two, but I specify one, which is a float. We set the align self to the flex end, align it to the end of each uh, of the of the thumbnails or of the picture or of the PNG file you're pointing at. So that's just what that is. Uh, Flexbox Manager is basically good for thumbnails, it's good for pictures, it displays perfectly, it displays more beautifully than grids, than staggered grid. And uh, we employ you to uh, tweak your UI, tweak your uh, user experience with uh, the Flexbox uh, Layout Manager. And after doing this, uh, we have that setup. You have the structured that it, uh, you've been able to handle the thumbnail container, or uh, that's actually going to house the poster part of your image. So you have that setup, and you can easily test out. So from here, we'll be testing out how the Flexbox uh, layout is actually going to look like right there in the screencast. So don't go anywhere. Thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout the tutorial, and I'll actually show you the screencast of this. And I will employ you to please subscribe to my channel and uh, also use Flexbox to uh, to replace your grid, to replace your staggered grid. It can actually be more appealing and change of UI to your users. Thank you one more time. Bye bye for now.